TOMO is a hand gesture sensing technology based on electrical impedance tomography. This technique is used in many industrial and medical applications. However, these devices are large, expensive, and generally cumbersome to wear. Our version is low cost, can be small and low powered, and is non-invasive, allowing for integration into worn consumer electronics, such as smartwatches and armbands. The simplest electrical impedance tomography setup involves one emitter and one receiver. The emitter outputs a high frequency AC signal while the receiver captures the waveform. This data can be used to calculate the impedance between the two electrodes. We can add more receivers, measuring the impedance along different paths through the object. We can also multiplex the transmitters and receivers to create many combinations of paths. With enough data, we can compute a 2D image of the arm's interior impedance distribution. The more electrodes, the better the resolution. Here you can see a basic test of our system using a bath of water. If we dip a cylinder made of plastic into the water, you can see a red circle appear on the visualization, denoting the location of a high impedance object. Alternatively, metal, which is conductive, produces a low impedance signal, visualized here in blue. We built a prototype sensor band with eight electrodes, which transmits data over Bluetooth at 10 frames per second. This band can be worn on the wrist or arm. Here you can see a user performing different hand poses. Note how the raw pairwise data and the reconstructed image change in response to the muscles flexing. From this data, we derive a series of features, which are passed into a machine learning classifier, which performs live recognition. Our approach can be integrated into worn devices. As a proof of concept, we modified a Samsung Gear smartwatch with electrodes along the strap. We believe our technology could augment smartwatch interactions with hand gestures. Here, a user navigates through a list of messages, opening one with a grasp gesture and closing it with a stretch gesture. When a phone call comes in, it can be dismissed with a quick flick of the hand or answered with a grasp gesture. 